Welcome back to Those Vegan Chefs. I'm Stefan, and this channel is dedicated to making you a better vegan cook. Today, we're gonna to talk about two things, tempeh stir fry and time management. I'm gonna teach you what to cook, when to cook it, and for how long to cook it so that you make perfect stir fry every single time. Every time! So, let's make it and I'll see you in the video. The key to perfect stir fry is to cook each ingredient separately. Let's get started with the eggplant. Cut the eggplant into two inch rounds. Cutting the eggplant into larger portions will bring texture, creaminess, and umami to the dish. My new favorite spice blend is Marsala Pickling Spice. Pickling is of course what it's meant for, but it works wonderfully as a spicy seasoning. Remember, a little goes a long way. Season the eggplant with one tablespoon Marsala Pickling Spice, one half teaspoon kosher salt, one tablespoon extra virgin olive oil. Thoroughly massage the spices onto the eggplant. Preheat the oven to 425 degrees. Place the eggplant on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Cook for 10 minutes. Flip the eggplant, cook for 10 more minutes. Once cooked, set aside. Cut the tempeh into rectangle, bite-sized pieces. Combine two tablespoons cornstarch, one tablespoon five spice. Lightly coat the tempeh. Make sure to remove excess seasoning by giving the tempeh a little tappy tap on the plate. Heat a heavy saute pan over medium high heat. Add three tablespoons extra virgin olive oil. Gently place the seasoned tempeh in the pan. The hot oil should be bubbling along the edges of the tempeh. Flip the tempeh once it's reached a deep caramel color. The tempeh should have a light, crisp exterior. Place the crispy tempeh on a sheet pan and set aside. Trim the sides of the bell pepper, leaving the core and seeds intact. Cut the bell pepper into strips half inch in thickness. Cut the strips on the bias in half. Trim the asparagus into one inch pieces on the bias. Let's start cooking the asparagus. Place the asparagus in a single layer in a hot, dry pan. Season with kosher salt. Allow the asparagus to cook undisturbed. Drizzle extra virgin olive oil over the top of the asparagus. Turn the asparagus after cooking for five minutes. The asparagus should be slightly al dente, bright green, and have some charred spots. The asparagus can join the tempeh on the baking sheet. Place the bell peppers in a hot, dry saute pan. Season with kosher salt. Cook the bell peppers for five minutes. We are looking for the same texture and light charring as the asparagus. The stir fry mise en place is coming together nicely. The foundation to this stir fry sauce is toasted ginger and garlic. Thinly slice peeled ginger. Shingle the sliced ginger this is a fast way to execute a julienne cut. Cut the julienne ginger into minced ginger. Thinly slice the peeled garlic. Add one quarter teaspoon red pepper flakes, a quarter teaspoon five spice, one teaspoon cornstarch, a quarter cup of soy sauce, a quarter cup of water, 
1 half tablespoon maple syrup, 2 tablespoons sweet soy sauce, and 1 tablespoon rice wine vinegar. Whisk to combine the ingredients. Before we start the final cook, make sure you have all of your ingredients close at hand. Heat your wok or heavy saute pan over high heat. Add three tablespoons extra virgin olive oil to the wok. In goes the minced ginger and sliced garlic. Cook for two minutes. Maintain high heat when adding the tempeh. Continue cooking for three minutes. In go the bell peppers. Stir to combine. Asparagus goes in next. Scrape the toasted bits off the bottom of the wok. And finally, add the roasted eggplant rounds. Pour the sauce into the center of the stir fry. Stir the vegetables and the sauce together. Push the vegetables up the side of the wok. This prevents the vegetables from overcooking while the sauce is thickening. Carry on cooking the sauce over high heat, stirring the entire time for roughly one minute. Once thick, turn the heat off. Stir to coat the vegetables and the tempeh. Spoon the stir fry onto a plate garnished with sliced scallions, gently scattered pickled red onions, and torn pieces of mint and basil over and around the stir fry. Shower with sesame seeds. And that completes our tempeh stir fry. Serve with steamed rice or pan seared wide noodles. Bam, tempeh stir fry done. So delicious. The pickled red onions, the mint, the basil. Ah, oh, bright, fresh, rich, all of it. Delicious. So excited that you guys are watching the videos, hitting the thumbs up button, subscribing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you're looking for exclusive video content, we have it in our newsletter. Go to thoseveganchefs.com, hit the subscribe button, and you too could have exclusive videos of tips and tricks. So, as always, see you next week. Bye. Tempe stir fry with a whole bunch of other stuff. And we're going to use all these steps like one, two, three, four. <laughs> Welcome back and thanks for sticking around for the recipe. I don't know what we're saying.